last video I show you how to create an account, how to log in and do your basic profile on minds.com. What I want to show you next is how to boost a post. Boosting posts are uh, it's one of the activities that you can do on minds that is not like any other network out there. You can boost uh, you can promote Facebook posts if you have a business page, but you cannot promote personal post. So this is a nice alternative to that. Twitter, you can promote anything. Pinterest, I believe you can promote almost anything if you're approved. I believe Instagram is now starting to roll out promoted posts for brands and individuals, but it's pretty expensive. So here's a way that you can give your post an extra boost, and it's called Boost. So let me show you how this works. Let's say I have this post right here, which is an actual blog post in Minds.com. And since I posted it earlier today, about 45 minutes ago, it's only received 21 views. So I can click on the boost post icon right here, and then select if I want to if I want to boost that to the full network, so the entire Minds.com collective, or to a specific individual. So let's look at let's take a look at full network first. You click on that, and then you click on how many points you want to allocate to this. In this case, I'm going to put um, 300 posts. Be careful not to put 3,000. There's always a zero there. And if you're on mobile, I have had experiences where I put in 50 points to be boosted, but it used 500 instead and I tried 500 and I used 5,000 instead. Be careful with that. Once you select this, it's very hard to get those points back. So most likely they're gonna go through and if you didn't wanna use as many points, then it's, you're out of luck. So make sure that you double check this before you click on boost. After you click on the boost button right here, this post is going to go into an approval queue as you can see right here on this message. If we look at our alerts, you'll see at the very top it says 300 views are waiting approval. There's an admin that has to approve this posted, uh, this boosted post just so, to make sure that you're not violating the terms of service. And another reason I've seen for a post being rejected is because they had a video on there from YouTube that was no longer available. So as a nice gesture, the admin rejected the post and said your video is no longer available, so I assume that you don't want to waste your points. That's a great thing that they did on that. I don't know if that's going to happen all the time, but uh, make sure that your post is all good as far as the content is available. So if you have pictures there, make sure they're not broken. If you have videos, make sure they actually play. And also make sure that you adhere to the terms of service. Uh, you can read this at the bottom of the homepage on minds.com. But you wonder, well, how do you get points? Well, I mentioned at the beginning on my first video that you get some points for just activity on your site, right? So you get points for voting. So anytime you vote for a post, whether you vote positively or negatively, you get a point. You get a point removed if you remove your vote. So if you thumb up one post and then you remove your thumb up, you will lose a point. And that seems pretty fair. You also get 10 points for posting a new piece of content and you get 50 points for logging in every day. So that's your daily login reward. Now if, you, if those points are not enough, you can actually buy points. You can click on buy points right here, or you can buy them right here from this area. Currently the exchange is 1,000 points for 10 US dollars. You can click on the buy points and put your credit card here or use PayPal and actually buy points. Points history shows you what's ha what has happened. And what you see right here is 300 points used on the last post I just showed you, 500 points on another boost I did earlier, and 500 points on another boost I did earlier when I was trying to record this video, but I had a problem, so I had to start over. So that is how you promote a post using the points. So this 300 points that I made, 
that will go to the entire network. But you can also promote an, a specific post to a specific individual. For example, you can see right here, this person, oh, let's go back. This person says they accepted my bid for 500 points to promote their post, to promote my post on their channel. What that means is I, go, I can go through either the people I subscribe to or anybody that I find interesting or maybe I want to use the influence they have or the number of subscribers they have or the type of subscribers that they have and promote a post to their wall. That's how that works. And in practice, it works the same as boosting the post to the network. It's just a different option. So let's go down and ask somebody to promote another post. Um, okay, so I found one that I want to promote. Notice that this is from an old date. This is May 3rd, so way, well over a month. And I can see that this got 4,900 views, which is pretty good. So what if I wanted to give this another boost? Let's boost this but I'm going to now select a person instead of the entire network. And let's do Cannibal Jester again. Actually, yeah, why not? So if you type in the person's name, you notice that it starts showing at the, at the bottom and then you can select. You can only pick one person at a time. But once you pick one, Pick on that person, you can put on uh, how many points you want to promote here and do it. So in this case, let's do another 500 points and boost it. At the moment I do that, I get a warning saying you're about to do this or you can uh, actually revoke it by clicking on the outbox. So click OK. Let's go look at the outbox. The outbox is this little arrow right here and if you click on outbox, that's when you see that the post I just promoted is waiting. So after some time, he may actually accept it as he accepted this one. So you'll notice right here, he accepted it at 16 minutes ago. Hopefully he accepts this one as well. And that's one way that you can boost your post. So I've shown you how to boost your post to the network or to an individual. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, feel free to like this, thumb up. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe if this was interesting and you want to see more videos like this. And if, you watch it, if you're watching this on Minds, I'd appreciate if you leave me a thumbs up or comment or even remind this post so that other people can also learn a few things. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.